Hello kaibigan, this is Ken's Art. Welcome to my channel. As I've said in my description that this channel is dedicated to make videos that is useful and helpful for you. Ang video po natin na ito is para po ito sa mga OFW dito sa Macau at saka sa Hong Kong na gusto pang matuto ng basic Cantonese. And also sa mga tao na may mga plano na pumunta ng Macau or Hong Kong na maghanap ng trabaho. Pag ikaw po ay may alam ng basic Cantonese o marunong kang makapagsalita, hindi naman ganun ka perfect, malaki pong advantage po yan para sa iyo at saka pag ikaw ay naghanap ng trabaho or ikaw ay nasa trabaho mas masaya at mas mabilis kang makapagkaroon ng magandang relasyon sa inyong amo o sa mga Chinese pag ikaw ay marunong ng kanilang lingwahe yan po ang reality kaya po ay encourage you na mag-aral po tayo no? paunti-unti kasi hindi naman po yan mabilis, pabilisan no? gradually, kaya po gagawin po natin dito Nung mag-aaral po tayo, isishare ko po sa inyo ang mga nalalaman ko from the book and also sa mga na-experience ko rin. I hope na maging patient po tayo at mag-enjoy tayo sa mga lessons na ito. Thank you so much. Let us proceed. Okay, the first thing that we need to know, ang pinaka-importante po natin na dapat malaman, ito po yung tinatawag na six tones in Cantonese. May nga nagsasabi na yung Cantonese po, hindi lang po yung six tones, that is nine tones. Marami pa pong tones or tono yung pagbikas nila. But the basic commonly used tones, ito po yung six tones na meron po tayo ngayon. So, kung makikita po natin dyan sa guide natin o sa even sa, sa screen po natin, show po natin dyan yung six tones natin ng guide, meron po siyang tinatawag na high level, high rising, middle level, low falling, low rising, and low level. Yan po ang kanyang description. And by the way, iba-iba po ang pag-describe or pag-identify ng mga authors na iba-ibang source. Iba-iba po kanilang paglagay ng mga signs. Dito po sa, sa, sa libro po natin o sa guide po natin, makikita nyo po sa mga letters, sa, sa, sa taas po ng letters, mayroon pong mga signs dyan. Kita nyo po yung mga line, yung line na, na, na straight, mayroon pong pataas, that po sa high, high rising. Yung, para, yung dot sa I, no, that is middle level. Low falling, that is, may, tingnan po natin, yung nabilong po sa low level, ito po yung may mga H after the vowel. Yan po ang note ng book natin, ng guide natin. So, yan po ang, ang, uh, mga, ang, ang guide or example po natin. So, ito po yung example natin na, na word na SI or C. So, in, in high level, C, that's how they pronounce it. C, that means poem. C, C, that is history. C, C, that is try. Ito po mga common words po ito na makikita natin yung poem, history, medyo hindi naman yan ka-common sa basic communication natin. So, hayaan na lang natin minsan yung mga uh, hindi na ganun kagamit. So, ito po yung try na C, that is most of the time lagi po yan nasasabi. C, bababa, low level, C, that is time, po yung time, no? mosi, mosikan, ang time po, hindi lang po yung word na C, meron po yung ibang guide, sikan, even ibang term, sikan, no? meron po siyang uh, uh, kadugtong, kaya po, mas maganda malaman natin, o ma, uh, alam natin yung iba-ibang paggamit ng isang term, so, C, that is low falling, C, that is low rising C no and then that means market kaya po Hongai C red market Kai C that is market and then C C that is matter ya mo siya no C mo si mo si no matter kaya minsan pag yung may nadapa ya mo siya no? okay lang ba iba iba pong paggamit at pagkaintindi ibig pagka translate sa English pero the same understanding kaya that is I mean different context it depends on the context kaya po tayo encourage po natin 
huwag po tayong mahiya po, po pag tayo po nagkakamali sa mga tones natin kasi po ang ang mga Cantonese speaker or ang mga ang mga Chinese they are more on context you know when they are listening to you they are more on context as long as you are in the context on the situation they can understand you pag nagkamali tayo sa pagpronounce kaya po huwag po tayong matakot just keep enjoy enjoy kung nagkamali man tayo just so be it No, pag hindi ka naintindihan, ibahin mo yung tone. <laughs> that is how you learn. And I uh, that is how I learned as well. Kaya po yan po yung mga basic natin na example. I hope that, no, I, advice ko lang po sa atin, tandaan po natin sa guide po natin yung mga signs. No? Yung sa high level, yung high pen, yung line above, yung high rising, yung pataas na line. No? That is... Uh, And then yung simple lang wala nang line or middle level no yung sa i may dot lang yung sa ang low low level yung may mga h no after the vowels so ibig sabihin low level po yan so yan po ang mga dapat po natin yan i i memorize kasi po yan po ang magiging guide po natin as go along to this lesson is even to the, our guide Maru, para mabasa natin kung paano natin bigkasin yung mga term na yan, or words or they call it romanized Cantonese, so kaya po sa ibang lesson, by the way, another hint po, hindi po natin makikita sa libro, but I learned this from other sources yung ibang mga mga authors or ibang mga tutorials, hindi po sila nagagamit ng mga signs, like the line above the letters ang ginagamit po nila is numbers kaya po, or numbers, kasi po mahirap mag-type sa romanized wala po kasi yung mga letter na may sign sa taas. No? Or any siguro sa atin, pero wala na rin yun. Mahirap kasi kayo maggawa ka ng, ng magsulat o mag-type ka, wala po. Kaya pong ginagamit sa mga mga YouTube or uh, mga videos, tutorial is numbers. No? Ang ginagawa po nila, numbers. So, ang high level is number one, number two is high rising, so on hanggang sa six, no? So, yan po ang arrangement nila. Kaya po, pag alam mo po yun, mas mabilis ka rin matuto from the other sources. No? Especially from the guide of no? in the internet or YouTube. So, you can do that. So, I hope that uh, this uh, introduction natin, um, it will be helpful ta sa atin no? bilang mga starter for this lesson. Okay, so, let us proceed to the basic. Uh, first, common We use words or we call it greetings. When we say greetings, no, in in Cantonese, hon yun kao chai, hon yun kao chai. So we can kita po natin how they they translate or the how they romanize the term or the character, no, in 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 this in this lesson, hon hon is lord hon yun kao chai, hon yun kao chai. And by the way, ang mga mga ang mga Chinese, hindi po sila ganun ka strict into the the, the tones. No, as long as you 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 do you you use words or terms properly, they can understand you. Okay, let's start for the first uh, common commonly used words, greetings. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Very very common yan sa atin, especially sa mga Chinese. In that in in Chinese, you can see that chow san Chow san, chow san, high rising, chow san. Kaya po lagi po natin ito maririnig at of course kailangan din natin mag-read sa mga Chinese nito. No? Chow san, chow san. Minsan marinig po natin may ah, chow san na. <laughs> no? That is no additional or expression or I think that is part of the endearment. No? Parang malambing. Kaya po alam nyo mga Cantonese speakers or Chinese of all Chinese mga Cantonese speakers or even here in Macau as I observe, even people are saying mga mas polite or no, mas kind or polite ang mga Cantonese or Chinese here in Macau so that's what I've heard and what I also observe so that's why they are also friendly kaya lagi po siya greet no? marami mga tao naman na hindi mga suplada <laughs> Kaya mo na yung plado. Pero commonly, they are so kind and polite. Okay, second is, uh, by the way, no, Chosan, Chosan is um, good morning. 
And yung mga Chinese, madalang po sila nagsasabi ng good evening, good noon, good afternoon. Wala po masyado yan. So, parang hindi yan gamit sa mga Chinese. Kasi, as I've heard, uh, why they are always uh, greet, greet good, good morning. Because that signs of parang blessing, something like that. They don't, kahit na hapon, good morning. <laughs> Jokesan pa rin yun. Minsan sa iba, of course. Sa mga hindi pa, sa mga marunong sa English, of course, they, they know. No, when to say good morning so second thing is hello hello no, hello hi hello nah, hey, hey. parang wala sila atang hi hello lang hello neho neho you see neho so in this lesson as well no, I just want to explain or even give you an, a hint or insight of other thing in the guide as I observed the word ne is you no, nay, ho parang kung, kung i-literal mo i-literal mo na translate nay, ho parang nay, ho is good are you good? something like that so nay, ho also is means hello nay, ho. so in, in wala po sa book, book na guide natin pero uh, sometimes I, I curious to the to the news in the TV taiga ho taiga then I asked a friend, a Chinese friend, uh, what does it mean, Taiga Ho? Means, sabi niya, Taiga Ho means, uh, hello everybody. So, that is, it means. So, in other words, pag, sina, pag marami yung tao, yung sasabihan mo ng hello, hindi ka pong sabi, hello, hello, neho, Taiga Ho. But say, hello everybody. So, that is a plural greeting for hello. So, hello everybody means, ne, Taiga Ho. Taiga Ho. So, that is, I've learned, of course, I don't know. Some people will may react. Okay, how are you? How are you? Kamusta ka? Yung ah, very common yan na greetings. Neho ma, neho ma. So that is a very common greeting as well in Chinese. And of course, pag ikaw ay may friend na Chinese, neho ma pag nakita natin. So ne friend is you. That is ho is ho ma is ho is good. Parang in 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 literally literally parang are you good? <laughs> no, kamusta ka? Are you good? <laughs> Neho ma. <laughs> okay, so bade yung word na ho. Marami pong paggagamitan uh, po yan. So, of course, the, the answer is fine things. No? Ho ho yang sam. Fine things. And there are also sometimes Chinese will answer ho means good. Ho ho means very good. In much ho ho yao sam means uh, I'm fine things. Something like that. Then, Nene, now, of course, to make this uh, con conversation na mag-flow, Nene, and you, uh, pag, kuma, minsan yung mga Chinese pag sabi ay, Nesek Cho, ma, mea, kumain ka na ba? Kumain ka na? Mea, wala pa. Of course, para mas maganda yung conversation, Nene, ikaw? Di ba? Nene? So, that is how it, it works. When you answer, not so good, no, I'm not so good, my geho, my geho, I feel bad. My geho, not so good. Tim kaya, why? Another word is, I'm having a hard time. Or, ngo ho chama, ngo ho chama, ngo ho chama. I'm having a hard time, I feel not good. Actually, same lang din yan. So, how it's going? No, kamusta yung ginagawa natin? Well, how it's going? Your study is going. Hey, di ma, di ma, di ma. Or sometimes, kinukuha nila yung nay, na you. Di ma na lang, di ma. This, uh, another response is, I feel bad today. No, in Chinese is, Ho kamya, mhai kay shufo. Ho kamya, mhai kay shufo. Ho kamya, kamya means today, mhai kay shufo. So that is, no, the, 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 how they how you should respond if medyo mahaba ito mahirap to i-memorize pero it's good to learn kamyat kaya ito pa yung hint na ginagawa ko no, para mas mabilis tayo matuto ang ginagawa ko po noon is ina-analyze ko ang arrangement ng kanilang sentence in English or the way they arrange the terms no in from the from the I mean character of course I am not learning character I am learning the terms or the pronunciation or the arrangement of their uh, terms or what they are saying for sure I feel bad today ngo is I 
come yet is today. Kaya po, minsan may, pag mag-literal po natin na, question, na sagot po yan, I today, okay, shufok, mahay kay shufok, I feel bad, no, today. So, so, That is the hint. I hope that you can you learn that. So I hope that I I you I mean just be patient. No, the gradually you can learn. Just get along with this lesson. Okay. So another is what is your name? No, another introductory question or natin. What is your name? Thank you, Mr. Meng. Actually, sa guide po natin, Mat Ye Meng. Meng. Mat Ye Meng. Meng. Mat Ye Meng Neg Yo Mat Ye Meng Meng That's the pronunciation Right pronunciation Neg Yo Mat Ye Meng Actually Ito po yung Sa guide Wala po sa guide Pero other guide says Ang Mat Ye Nasusortin po yan Sa May Hindi na po nababibikas Yung Mat Ye May Na lang May So Kaya Neg Yo May Meng Neg Yo May Meng Neg Yo May Meng Minsan may A pa yan Expression My name is Ken. Ngo Gyo, pwede rin Gyo, pwede Hai. My Ngo Gyo, Ken. Ngo Hai, Ken. That's, no, that's, I hope that you are, that's how you respond. You need to respond. That's the answer of the question, what is your name? Or pwede rin, call me Paul. Gyo Ngo Paul. Takla, takla, means pwede, Ken, or pwede, no, Gyo Paul. Okay, ito pa. Nice to meet you. Ho ko hingyeng sikney. Sikney means to know you or to meet you. Nice means ho ko. Actually, hingyeng sikney. No, I don't know how to, why it had, I don't know bakit may ganyan, pero just follow the guide. Now, sometimes may mga guide na parang wala namang term. Saan ba yung term na ganyan? No? Kaya po ang Chinese, very flexible yung Cantonese spe specifically. Long time no see. Di ba? Ho no emoki na. No? Especially pag ikaw ay nasa live o yung di mo na nakita yung Chinese o friend. Wow, oh, ho no emoki na. Ho no ho Ho no emoki na. Ho no emoki na. Ito po yung another hint that I just want to share to you. Yung N sa guide natin. In other guide, it it is it is translated as L. Kaya minsan merinig natin loy noy. Parehas lang po yon. The same lang. Ho noy ho loy. Mo kin means no see. Mo no and kin is see. Ho noy mo kin. Ho noy mo kin. So that that is how it works. Yeah, Chinese or Cantonese is very exciting for me. I enjoyed learning Cantonese when I am when I started to learn and then having fun conversation with other Chinese or learning from them. So, have you had lunch or dinner yet? Nisik cho fan mea. Ito yung sinabi ko na. Nisik cho fan mea. Nisik cho fan mea. When they said nisik cho fan mea, bilis. Kaya minsan, no, pag ikaw ay wala kang idea sa, sa uh, Cantonese in arrangement, parang hindi mo may, ano ba yung sinasabi nyo? Pero pag sinabi mo ng sikpan, <laughs> pagkain na yon pag sikpan. No, nejo, ne sik cho fan. Yung cho is something, I will explain that later. So, translation muna tayo. So, ne sik cho fan, may, means asking that have you had your lunch or dinner? Pag sikpan, either lunch or dinner. So, you can say. So, when you answer is, Yes, is sikjola, sikjo, sikjo, or sikjola. Kau ini direct. Sikjo, sikjo, la, sikjo. Kau ini direct sikjo. Or pagi ni, mea, mesik, or mea. Kau ini direct. Mesik or mea. Kau ini direct kanan. So that is the Cantonese. Okay. So let us continue. Yeah, itu pak. Thank you very much. Ins, goi sai, goi sai, or for. Tandaan po natin, ito po yung hint ng guide natin for your service or help. No? Pag ikaw ay tinulungan, no? may nag-serve, no? umgoy sai. And also, umgoy, nagagamit din po sa excuse me. No? Excuse me, umgoy, umgoy. Tawad sa natin, umgoy. Umgoy, umgoy. Ganun-ganun. 
please let me let me through or excuse me um goi or goi je cha let me through please let me through that is also excuse me uh, another word of um goi no ito po yung sa another natin thank you very much for the gift or invitation pag nagpasalamat po tayo sa binigay ng mga gift or something compliments or invitation payments no compliment no that is etc ang paggamit po ng thank you hindi po ngoy that is toche 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 sai thank you very much and of course you are welcome you are welcome you are welcome hindi welcome sa bahay ah <laughs> iba pang pagkasabi noon you are welcome ya yeah. msai akhay msai okay na okay lang yung msai pero hakhey okay din msai hakhey no walang anuman sa tagalog msai walang anuman and of course i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry na pahaba na po yung vlog natin na pahaba na po yung lesson natin introduction pa lang tayo i'm sorry means toy mchu toy mchu Toy mchu mhoisi no pwede rin yon mhoisi no sorry i'm sorry toy mchu and mhoisi still the same so i hope that uh, you learn that okay the word never mind don't mind him ngan <laughs> you i have to leave oy yo jola jo tao no that is good night goodbye choi kin formal no pag formal na paggamit choikin means only choikin means see you again no but also just goodbye or yung casual is bye bye no chinese is uh, using a bye 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 parang english din okay or minsan um you can say to the old one or maybe uh no mamanhang no magingat slow walk slowly yan po ang uh, mga paggamit ng term na yan chok na whole one good luck so i don't say good luck because i don't believe in luck i miss you mo guan chu ne mo guan mo guan chu ne mo guan chu ne wa ko guan chu ne sangyat phai lok sangyat phai lok happy birthday sangyat phai lok birthday is sangya pilok is happy also happy is hoisam so same lang po yon pilok or hoisam that is same and thank you response to che yeah happy new year sanin pilok no minsan kung hepat choy kung gusto mo ng pera <laughs> no happy new year means in, in english or in, in chinese sanin pilok Konghe Pachoy, that is in Chinese uh, Happy New Year as well, but that's traditional greetings. Congratulations! Uh, congratulations! Konghe ne! Konghe! Konghe! Pwede yung konghe, pwede yung konghe ne. So, it depends on, commonly, pwede nung do away mo na yung ne. Konghe, konghe means congrats. Uh, congratulations. No thanks means, msaila, mgoy, msaila, mgoy, no thanks. What can I do for you? Yao ma ye pong to ne. Yao ma ye pong to ne. Ito pong ma ye. Yao ma ye me ye pong to ne. Pwede rin me ye ma ye. Sometimes nagagamit yung ma ye. Yao ma ye pong to ne. What can I do for you? Yao is something meron. Ma ye what pong to ne. Parang help. No pong is help. Anong may tutulong ko sa'yo? What can I do for you? Yao ma ye pong to ne. Are you alright? Yao mo siya. Mo si, mo si. Pag may mga nadapa, may mga nagkaroon ng problema. Okay, I'm fine. Kanina yung fine and thanks. So, ho yao sam. Ito naman, I'm fine is ngo mo si, mo mantay. Pwede rin mo mantay. No problem. I'm fine. Something like that. O pwede rin kami sabi, I'm gonna, gonna you, I'm gonna you. Pag may mga nakasagi sa'yo. So, no problem. Momentay. Lagi ito narinig natin. Momentay. Momentay. So, yan po yung mga commonly used words ng Cantonese. 
Ngoming la means, oh, I see. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I see means, oh, I understand. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, I understand. Actually, ang uh, meng la is, meng is understand. Ngoming, ngoming la. Oh, oh, meng, oh, meng, I understand. So, oh, really? Oh, really? Ame? Ah, uh, ito yun. Ame? Lagi mo ito marinig sa conversation. Ame? Lagi po natin marinig ito sa mga conversation sa labas. Ame? Pag yung nag, 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 nagmamarites yung mga Chinese o nag, <laughs> nagkwento na, Ay, me! Ay, me! Ay, 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 me! No, that is how it works. <laughs> oh, it's very fun to learn more uh, this kind of uh, stuff. No, very funny. I hope that you are enjoying. That's right. Uh, mocho. Hi, Mocho. Mocho. You're right. That's right. The same. Nonsense crazy. Jeez, eh, no? no? Ito po yung lagi expression. Minsan nakukuha ko yung expression na ito. Jeez, eh, no? Pag nagagalit. <laughs> o parang nainis ka sa mga mm, nangyayari. Jeez, ah, eh. So, jeez, eh, no? Nonsense or crazy. Crazy. Jeez, eh, no? yan. What's wrong? Oh, ano bang mali? What's wrong? You're kidding me? Pwede yung translation. It is ridiculous. Yamo ka ocho wa. Yaw mo kao chowa. Minsan yung mga Chinese yan. May marinig po natin. Yaw mo kao chowa. Yung mga galit niyan mga Chinese. So pag yung help, oh, coming, coming, ah, coming, ah. pag may mga emergency yan. Pag sinabi mong help naman, pwede mo kong tulungan. O yi, o mo yi na pongo. Pongo means help me. So, it's done. No, it's done. We are done as well. No, kita mo, it's done means tapos na. Kaoting. Kautima. So our first lesson, Kautima. Kaula. Enough. So, I hope that you are enjoying our lesson for today or for the first lesson po natin in Cantonese. And I hope that you will click the like, subscribe, click the notification bell so that ma-update po tayo sa mga coming pa natin na mga no very exciting lesson if you are excited <laughs> no and of course it can be helpful for you helpful for you no as a OFW here in Macau in Hong Kong and to those who are planning to to those who are planning to go here so thank you so much for watching and i hope that you can share this video to others especially sa mga kaibigan po natin dito sa Macau thank you po sa lahat and god bless po Ngoy sai, hatikin. Bye bye.